Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Rishi Desai, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Chuck Cairns, the Dean and Senior Vice President of Medical Affairs at Drexel University College of Medicine. So that might be a good segue for me to ask how you first got started in medicine, and particularly emergency medicine and critical care, and who are those folks that you might have leaned on uh, early on in your career? You know, it's a great question. I really wanted to be a physicist, and I wanted to be an astronomer. Then I spent a summer on a road crew in North Carolina, um, and I was with a medical student. It was one of those jobs where you got to work for 10 hour days a week, which was a good summer job in those days. Uh, it was a pretty hot summer job. But the good news was I got to sit down and talk to uh, medical students, and there were some law students on the same program, and really talk about their philosophy of life and what drove them to their professions. And after that summer, I really started taking medicine seriously as a career. I was a major in chemistry. I love physical chemistry. Um, but as I got more and more experience with just what medicine could be and where it was going, and then frankly, I was involved a lot in research, that I realized I could combine my interest in chemistry, combine those interests with research, but then see how it can really impact people. And so that's how I got into medicine. I'd like to close with any sort of knowledge gap that you'd like to fill. Maybe you'd like to teach us something uh, that you think <laughs> people may not know or maybe some general advice, or maybe a combination of the two, specifically aimed at, at folks that are just kind of coming into their own in their healthcare career, whatever that might be. Well, first of all, follow your passion. I think that following your passion is wonderful because I've been able to integrate my passion for clinical care and emergency care, and then couple that with science and research interest, and then couple that with the ability to organize others, right? To focus in on those problems and education and training and research, and then lead to broader organizations. It's all the same passion, just different manifestations. And I think the other thing to do is to keep an open mind. And it's, and, and I think that it's, it's easy to say, but sometimes hard to do, especially in medicine. You know, I remember during my training, you know, we had weeks that were 100, 120 hours. I remember being audited one time early in my faculty career um, through one of these formal government audits. And uh, I was shocked to find I spent 112 hours one week and then 118 hours the next week. And you realize you're working really hard, but always remain open to how you might follow another path how you might be able to expand your opportunity, but most importantly, how you might be able to enhance your impact. And when you start doing that, you'll start finding other collaborators outside of your field that can help. You'll start working with organizations that you thought wouldn't partner with you. And you start being able to then bring new resources, new energy, and new opportunity, and then leverage them uh, for impact. So I would say most certainly follow your passion, keep an open mind, and my last piece is be optimistic. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raise the Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.